Hello, and welcome to this video titled Was Liberty Monitoring in SysView? In this video, we will start by giving an overview of the monitoring provided by SysView for WebSphere Application Server Liberty running on ZOS. We will then touch on the configuration necessary to enable SysView's monitoring. Finally, we will log into SysView and demonstrate the usage of SysView's monitoring for WAS Liberty. In SysView version 17, support for monitoring WAS Liberty servers on ZOS was introduced with the PTF listed in the top right corner of this slide. This feature PTF provides key insights into the runtime performance of WAS Liberty servers. This functionality is included in SysView's JVM component. SysView has the ability to auto-discover all Liberty servers running on a system. Liberty servers can run embedded in several different types of address spaces, including Kix, ZOS Connect, ZOSMF, and others. Regardless of where the Liberty server is running, SysView can discover it. When the SysView JVM agent is configured within a Liberty server, performance metrics and configuration information about the server and its components can be displayed. These components include WAS Liberty applications, connection pools, endpoints, servlets, sessions, and thread pools. SysView can also manage and alter the status of several Liberty components, including starting and stopping applications and endpoints. Liberty servers can be configured to write SMF type 120 subtype 11 records for requests processed by the server. SysView can format the data in these records into a human readable report. Finally, all of the functionality discussed in this presentation is also available via the SysView APIs in the SysView Zoe CLI plugin. It is simple to configure SysView monitoring for WAS Liberty. On our tech doc site, there is a configuration checklist that details all of the necessary steps to configure WAS Liberty monitoring. On the right side of this slide, you can see a screenshot and link to the configuration checklist. This checklist should be followed when configuring SysView monitoring for WAS Liberty. This presentation will not cover the details of configuration, but a quick summary includes first, enabling the SysView JVM component, then configuring the monitor Liberty feature in the Liberty server, and finally supplying the path to the SysView JVM agent in the Liberty server. This includes enabling a new mon WLP option in the SysView JVM agent. Now, let's hop into SysView and see how to take advantage of SysView's WAS Liberty monitoring. We start at the SysView primary option menu. By default, selecting option number 9 on this menu will take us to the JVM menu. This option number may be different if you have customized your menu. From the JVM menu, selecting option number 16 will display the WAS Liberty menu. On the WAS Liberty menu, a list of available commands specific to monitoring WAS Liberty are displayed. In SysView, all WAS Liberty commands are prefixed with the letters WLP, short for WAS Liberty Profile. The first command we will select on this menu is option number 1, WLP List. The WLP list command displays a list of all active WAS Liberty servers running on the system. Each unique WAS Liberty server is displayed on its own row. The auto discovery of Liberty servers does not require the SysView JVM agent to be configured. However, the SysView JVM agent must be configured to provide real-time performance statistics and configuration information. On this command, we can see the job name, ASID, and USS process ID for each server. The ASI type field indicates the type of address space where the Liberty server is running. The server name field displays the name that was configured to be used for the server. The version field indicates the WAS Liberty version in use. To get an idea of how active each server is, the usage of the default executor thread pool can be investigated. In Liberty, this thread pool is responsible for processing all requests. On this command, we can see the current size of the thread pool, the number of active threads in the pool, 
and the percentage of all threads in the pool that are active. By scrolling to the right on this command, we can see more fields. The MonWLP field indicates the status of SysView's monitoring for the Liberty server. The UserDir field displays the Liberty user directory where server configuration changes are made. The InstallDir field displays the directory where WAS Liberty was installed. The HostName field displays the hostname that the server was configured on. Liberty servers can optionally connect to an angel task to provide authorized services. The angel name field on this command displays the name of the angel task that the server is connected to, if any. The angel field indicates if the Liberty server requires a connection to an angel task to start up successfully. Several line commands are available on the WLP list command to link to other sysview displays. To list and display the performance of applications running in each Liberty server, the apps line command can be used. When the apps line command is used from WLP list, the WLP apps command is displayed. This command displays a list of applications that have been configured within a Liberty server. This command can also be issued in system and cross-system mode to see the applications for all Liberty servers across the system or sysplex from one display. For each application, this command will display the application name and status. To determine the usage and performance of each application, the requests and response time fields can be used. These fields show the total number of requests and average response time for these requests respectively that have been processed by the application since it was started. From this command, each application can be started, stopped, or restarted using the line commands listed on the slide. These line commands and all other action line commands discussed in this video use the WLP set function command in SysView, which access can be restricted to. For example, we can enter stop against a started application. When the command is refreshed, we see that the status field now reports the application as stopped. The next command we will look at is WLP con P. The WLP con P command displays a list of connection pools in use by the Liberty server. Connection pools are used to manage and control the number of concurrent connections to an asset or system of record. Connection pools are created and managed by a connection manager. The identifier of the connection manager for the connection pool is listed in the con manager field. The max field shows the maximum number of concurrent connections that can be fulfilled by the connection pool. To determine how active a given connection pool is, the in use fields display the total number of active connections and percentage of active connections currently being used in the connection pool. The fields highlighted display counts since the connection pool was created, including the total number of connections created and destroyed, as well as the current number of free and managed connections. This command also displays timing metrics, including how long each connection was in use for and how long each connection had to wait to be fulfilled by the connection pool. Here we can see the average, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation in use and wait times for connections granted by the pool. This command provides the ability to purge connection pools. This is done using the line commands listed on the slide. A connection pool can be purged with three increasing priorities, normal, immediate, and abort. When we enter a purge line command for a connection pool, we will see that any connections in the free and managed pools get destroyed. Next, we will look at the WLP NPT command. This command displays a list of HTTP and message-driven bean endpoints configured to be used by the Liberty server. This command displays the name and status of each endpoint. 
For HTTP endpoints, the HTTP and HTTPS ports along with the server host name are displayed. Both HTTP and message-driven Bean endpoints can be paused or activated by this command. This is accomplished using the line commands listed on the slide. When we enter the pause line command on an active endpoint, we see that the status of that endpoint becomes paused. Next, we will look at the WLP serve L command. The WLP serve L command displays a list of servlets in use by the Liberty server. Servlets in use by both internal Liberty web applications like Admin Center and user-defined applications are reported on this command. On this command, we can see the application that owns the servlet and the servlet name. To determine the usage and performance of each servlet, we can use the requests and response time fields. The requests field shows the total number of requests processed by the servlet. The fields prefixed with RESPT display the average, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation response times for all requests processed by the servlet. Next is the WLP sesh command. This command displays a list of sessions that are or have been active in the Liberty server. Here we can see the session name. To determine the usage of each session, we can look at these count fields. The active field shows the current number of active sessions. The next three fields display the total number of sessions that have been created, invalidated, and timed out. The live field displays the current number of sessions that are cached in memory. The final command listed on the WLP menu is the WLP set command. The WLP set command has no display as it is a sysview function command. This command is used by the action line commands on the WLP apps, conp, and endpoint commands. However, this command can also be issued directly on the primary command line. Issue the help WLP set command in sysview for more information. The last item to cover in this video is the SMF120 subtype 11 records that can be written by Liberty servers. These records contain request specific information. On the SMF log command in sysview, we can select SMF120 subtype 11 records to generate a formatted report for the record. Each record has the potential to contain five sections, which are listed in the table of contents. We can see information about the Liberty server, the request, network statistics, WLM classification, and user data. In the request information section, we can see the target URI that the request went against, and we can also see the request elapsed time and total CPU time amongst other metrics. That brings us to the end of this video. In summary, we have covered the real-time monitoring that SysView provides for WAS Liberty on ZOS. This monitoring includes auto-discovery of all Liberty servers and the displaying of configuration information and statistics for Liberty components. SysView can also help manage and alter the status of different Liberty components. Finally, SMF Type 120 Subtype 11 records can be formatted. For more detailed information about SysView and WAS Liberty monitoring, go to Broadcom.com. From there, you can access our product documentation and other helpful resources.